Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Owen, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, at the farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the spur flints. Best not to think about the previous year. <sighs> Too late. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. How many Eclipse are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few. Well-armed and armored. Bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We could storm the front gate, Osram style, or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you let me. No. You wait here. Be ready to follow when the fighting stops. Oh, I'll be ready. I we see something! Should have brought a cart. This has to be where they're holding Olin's family. Bolt it tight. One of the Eclipse must have the key.
We heard the commotion outside. You're not one of them. Who are you? Don't be afraid. I'm gonna get you out of here. I hadn't given up on hope, but I'd forgotten the taste of it. Is it safe for us to leave? The Eclipse won't be stopping you. Then it's over. I dreamed of escape a thousand different ways. But all of them put my son at risk. You survived. You protected him. That's what matters. Now, your husband's waiting for you. Olin! I heard the fighting stop. Olin! You brought him back to us. Thank you. There's no need to thank me. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis, and his demons. I am honor-bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. It's Aaron, and he's in trouble. That's over with. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What, you don't feel like talking? Hey, seriously, we need to talk. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. 
tell me exactly what happened to Ursa? Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Ert. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They'd been licking their wounds for two years, but... They finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. This is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. There must be Shadow Karja armor. These look like drag marks. Strange. Not a scratch on it. They look like snares. They look good as new. Never fired. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out.
I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? <sighs> There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Get over here! She's coming! For Meridian! Are <laughs> oh, these bastards? Or anything else. Uh oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. We can flatter it. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. What are those leather straps? So much blood. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Ha 
There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Oseram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram with special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage East? What possible interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children in wine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man.
Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osaram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osaram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well. I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. 